Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our last case for the time being of 2018 Tops Finest Baseball. A fine, fine case. Pick your team 14. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. We'll try to get more, I'm sure. Although, I don't know. With Inception Baseball coming out next week and um, Museum Collection coming out next week, maybe we won't get more. At least not for a little while. Shane, going big, actually bought like the last... Eight teams, I think. So big thanks to Shane for finishing off this break. Appreciate it. And let's pop this case open and let's make this happen. This is a nice breezy break. Fine, it's always a fun one to do. Not fun if I can't find the, the groove here. There we go. I need to replace that blade all right ladies and gentlemen now if you are if you are keeping score if you're keeping score at home you know that my last two nights of putting uh putting some pennies on baseball games after a couple of weeks of doing well last last couple nights last two or three nights not good not good only one win zero wins I felt like uh felt like Aaron judge in the middle of a bad slump just flailing at games and not really hitting anything. But tonight, I think I might be back to my winning ways if if the Braves pull off this game. The Braves are tied at sevens in the bottom of going into the bottom of the eleventh against the O's. They're playing in Atlanta at SunTrust. And uh Lee Keller, Mr. Regicidal's collection, also has a stake today in Beak the Streak. He has got trout. Mike Trout for Beat the Streak. 0 for 3, and the Angels are in the bottom of the 6th. Oh, and he doubled down, too. He took Altuve, Trout. Altuve got the hit. Now it's up to Trout to get up to 10. I don't think I've gone all... I, I don't think I've made it to 10 ever. I think the best I've ever gotten, Lee, was... Like 5, 6, maybe? It's hard. When that when they first when MLB first started doing beat the streak, I was like, easy, <laughs> easy. I could figure out who's gonna get a hit every day. Million dollars in my pocket, boom. No, it, it's hard, real hard. Beat the streak is legal. It's a free free game. On MLB.com. My sports wagering, of course it's legal. It's all legal now, Jeremy33. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Finest Baseball 2018. Let's start off with, where's the auto? Now I think the autos are here now. There's my boy Walker Bueller. 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 Scott McNulty with my Dodgers. The future of the Dodgers. Could be a nice one-two punch with if Clayton Kershaw comes back healthy. He has a rehab start this weekend. There's Cody Bellinger. Nice, out of 250. Which is his batting average, I think, which is not good. Maybe even less than that. Power still there, though. There's Gary Sanchez, Refractor. Uh, just in the interest of time, these higher number ones, I'll just be sleeving, and then we'll top load those. Uh, we'll top load those later, before they ship out, of course. Refractor Otani, nice. Victor Robles. Anduhar. By the way, if you're wondering, folks, we have yet to pull an Otani autograph out of all this finest. Uh, when when is Bueller supposed to come back, Lee? Do you know? He's got a rib cage thing, maybe like a slight micro fracture or something like that. All right. You are due to receive. This is the case hit. The case hit out already. Of R, we might have seen this one, Rafael Devers, A, 
Raphael Raphael Devers for the Red Sox. That goes to Jeremy 33. That's a one per case, Jeremy. Nice. There you go. Sports King saying this filled already. It did. Everyone loves finest. There you go. Nice. All right. Next box. So Walker Bueller is throwing a bullpen session on Saturday. Oh, good. I think Clayton Kershaw's rehab games on Saturday too. What else is breaking tonight? I think we're almost we're almost filled up for the evening. I think NT Soccer Five filled. Oh, is he is he starting tomorrow? Oh, I thought they had a rehab start for him. Just going straight up against the Mets. Oh, that's what that's what Jeremy Thirty Three meant by Kershaw versus Degrom. Oh, that's the rehab start then. That's Kershaw's rehab start against the New York Mets. Quadruple A team. No, unintentionally. <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy's like, Jeremy's like, that's cold blooded, Joe. Are you calling the Mets game a rehab start? Not intentionally, but now, yeah. <laughs> now I am. So there's our tentative schedule in the chat, Sports Kings. Finest is happening now. Um, NT Soccer 5 is full, and I'm sure NT Soccer 6 will fill up. Right after that, um, and then we either we'll either have time for Diamond Kings, Prime Cuts, Absolute, but just depends on what people want to fill. So if people want to get something going, they got to start placing their orders now. If they want Diamond Kings, that's got to happen by nine thirty, or else we'll push that till tomorrow. All right, Rory saying the Mets are high high Triple A, Triple A plus. There's Anthony Banda, Banda, Arthur, Banda, Banda. That goes to Arthur and the Diamondbacks. Come on, Braves. I guess it'll just be up to Charlie. Get on base, Tyler Flowers. And then Charlie Culberson can knock you in. Former Dodger Charlie Culberson. In play outs. I don't like that. All right, I think the autograph is there. Nikki Delmonico to 99. Justin Turner. Anthony Rizzo. Nikki Delmonico green goes to Shane. And the autograph behind Paul Goldschmidt cornerstones is. Brian Anderson for the Marlins. D-Mac with the fish. All right, so now they're going to the top of the 12th in Atlanta. <coughs> There's Otani, of course. Wait, so Lee, for your Beat the Streak... Does uh, does Trout have a chance to come back up to bat? Top of the seventh, maybe maybe you want maybe you want to go go extras. Oh, he got out in the bottom of the sixth. Okay, so maybe maybe you want extras or a lot of a lot of, a lot of runs. All right, so you want you want the you want the Blue Jays to tie and take it to extras, maybe, or maybe maybe some a sharp offensive output for the Angels.
They just sent Sano down to single A, Jeremy33. He got demoted. Yeah, and I think, yeah, a lot of people still like him as a prospect, but yeah, he's got weight issues like Rich is saying. He's got, got, got some conditioning he has to he has to figure out, but he's got oodles of potential. Oodles, even. When's the last time you heard someone say oodles besides just now? All right, there's Kimbrel. There's George Springer to 150. There's Mike Trout. Lee needs him for a hit. There's Robinson Cano, Royds. Jack Flaherty apparently had a... What was that you were saying, Rory? I don't even know who he was playing. Where are my scores here? Oh, you're playing your Brewers. He had a no-hitter going, and then, then the no-hitter was blown up, and then the Brewers ended up winning the game. Out of 250. Oh, I guess we'll look at the autograph then. Behind Robinson Cano is oh the guy that guy Jack Flaherty that's what he was doing for Eric Bailey and the Redbirds how how many innings was that no he had a no hitter with 12 Ks until oh that's right Roy was saying Jesus Aguilar solo shot to tie the game and then Aguilar hit the walk off a little later and the Aguilar show There's Ulyski Gurriel out of 250. Wow, so he went six and a third. Brandon Woodruff for the speaking of the brew crew, Lee Keller. You know what, guys? I didn't realize that. Well, I, di I did. I just haven't had a chance to mention it. Um, Josh Hader is up. Remember the Haterade? We made the Haterade jokes in the Bowman baseball breaks a while back. And um, he, he is up, and he is, just, he is just destroying. Like, people can't hit him. He's unhittable. That's a good, that's a good piece of that Brewer's bullpen. Uh, Rory saying Hader went one inning and struck out all three. Yeah, so dust off your Josh Hader cards. I know he was he was a little bit on the common side, I feel like, in those breaks. But but yeah, I mean definitely dust them off because you might there might be a little extra value there, more than you thought there might have been. So are they gonna keep him a reliever, Rory? Like what's the story with Josh Hader? Is he gonna be a reliever? Is he gonna be a closer? Are they going to stretch him out to be a starter? Like, what's the long-term plan? And Rory, a Brewers fan, is saying that the value is is rising for him, card-wise, hobby-wise. Okay, so Rory's saying they won't stretch him out as a starter. He'll stay a reliever, maybe future closer. Got it. Yeah, with his stuff be great Rory I feel like we hadn't haven't had a chance to talk about your Brewers um, what do you think I mean June 22nd right now uh, Friday June 22nd at 8 57 p.m. on the West Coast are they for real do you do you feel does, I mean does your city does your towns feel feel like they're real for real is everyone saying they're for real Maybe everyone's waiting for the other other shoe to drop. It seems like they're for real. Yeah, Rory's like, I'm still feeling good. Hey, best best record in the NL. Jeremy thirty three doesn't think they're for real. Out of two one fifty, Albert Pujols, who's kind of turning back the clock a little bit. All right, Braves going into the bottom of the uh, bottom of the twelfth. Come on, Braves, let's finish this game off. I don't know why I, I sleeve that up. Possibly because he's on my fantasy team. 
now showing favoritism. There's Alex Verdugo. There's Ozzy Albius. Rory's looking for a low-numbered one. There's Joey Gallo to 250. Jackie Bradley Jr. What do the what what do the Brewers need to add, Rory? Like what's like the main thing? I feel like starting pitching, right? I feel like that's always been the thing. Lucas Sims for the Bravos. That does go to Rory. Luke, Rory looking for an Ozzy Albius, of course. Wow, Freddie. Fre How about this, Rory? Is this okay if I don't pull you an Ozzy Albius? Freddie Freeman Cornerstones autograph. I feel like we've only seen one or two of these in all the breaks we've done. Nice Freddie Freeman. I think Freddie Freeman, is he up to bed? No, he's not up to bed. No, no Freddie Freeman walk-off. Come on, Kurt Suzuki. That might have to go on the on on the Twitterverse, Rory. Might have to go on at Jasby's Hobbyland. <laughs> Arthur thought it was gonna be be Goldie. You got the position right. Well, we know they exist now. We still haven't seen a sitting red autograph, Arthur. Didn't you say that Goldschmidt has a sitting red auto? Maybe we can find one of those. You know what? It. I was looking for that. I don't think it is numbered. I thought they would be. I thought this was gonna be like out of twenty-five or something like that. But I don't. I don't see anything. They must be. I mean, they must be short printed though, right? Shorter printed. <laughs> yeah, Rich is like Kurt Suzuki still plays. Yeah, he plays. I think he's 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 the Braves' backup catcher, behind Tyler Flowers. Um, going back to the Brewers really quick, Rory saying the pieces that they need, starter, catcher, maybe second baseman, RC to, Orlando RC to find his bat. Um, you think the Brewers are going to be active in the trading deadline? They should be. I feel like I feel like not too not too often you're going to have a chance to to really catch the Cubs off guard, you know, and be be leading. You know, I, I would do it. I'd, I'd be like, let's go big. Let's give it a shot. Not not mortgage too much of the future, but try to go as big as possible. Add some pieces. Or, no, that'd be too crazy. Or, would it be too crazy, Rory? Would it be too crazy if you gave up a little a little future for half a year of Manny Machado? And Dylan Bundy? Is that crazy talk? Am I, am I just talking out of my butt? Chase after Manny Machado? Need a catcher? Maybe Chance Sisko? Maybe... I don't know. Maybe... Uh, who, else, who else do the Orioles have that they can move? Zach Britton? Maybe some more shore up the back of that rotation? There's Kenley Jansen, 25, and then there's Bryce Harper. To, oh, so the cornerstones are number. I guess they'd be in the top right. 13 out of 50, Bryce Harper for King D, who's been slumping a little bit, hurting his free agent value. Kenley Jansen seems to be back on track for the Dodgers. Scott McNulty with the out of 25. Nice low number there. The out of 25 is an under. We usually sleeve up pretty immediately. Get that Otani sleeved up too. Oh, Kurt Suzuki hit by pitch. He's on base. Dansby Swanson walk off. There's Francisco Lindor and Harrison Bader for the Cardinals. Eric Bailey with the Redbirds. Getting a couple of the up and coming rookies for the Cardinals. Oh, the autos might not be numbered. 
Morotani. All of those add up value wise. Do I like Miguel Castro to blow this? Yeah, Miguel Castro, you don't have. You got nothing. Miguel Cabrera reveals a Paul Blackburn, 39 out of 99. That's a nice green with the athletics green. That goes to Eric Bailey and the A's. Nice. I think he's up, right? I think he's been pitching regularly. All right, just three boxes to go, boys and girls. We already saw the case hit. It was a redemption, Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. All right, TJ, we'll see you. And then we saw that nice Cornerstones autograph for Rory and the Bravos. And we still have two, four, six autographs to go. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Jeremy, that was like the did you miss the first box? I think it was like the first or second box. You had a case hit. You weren't saying anything. I thought you were just you were kind of mad about it. It was Raphael Devers finest hour autograph. <coughs> it was a redemption. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it was a case hit though. The case hit. In play outs, come on, Dansby Swanson, flying out to right field or Colby Rasmus. No, you got to put the ball in play. Move the runner. Unbelievable. All right, next one. <laughs> got a couple pennies on the game. How are your angels doing, Lee? Not his angels, but he's got Mike Trout and beat the streak. Needs that to happen. That's why Mike Trout's right there for good luck. Bottom of the seventh, two outs. All right. Yes, sir. It was a redemption. Jeremy 33. All right. Oh, I think the autograph might be there. Let's save that. There's Alex Verdugo to 150, who's been playing well in AAA. I think that might be the big candidate for the Dodgers to move at the trading deadline due to their crowded outfield. We're looking for, we still haven't seen a sitting red autograph. Arthur wouldn't mind a sitting red Goldschmidt. There's Austin Hayes at 250. Still haven't seen a Cal Ripken Jr. Finest Careers die cut autograph. So that's been another elusive one out of all these finest breaks that we've done. So a couple Orioles for EA, and your autographs are going to be behind Ryan Braun. We have Ryan McMahon, rookie auto. He has a nice auto. Rockies, Scott V with the Rocks. Johan Camar, come on Camargo, striking out swinging. Can't let Miguel Castro do that to you. All right, Danny Santana, you're my only hope. Oh, first pitch swinging strike on a 85-mile-per-hour curveball. Ooh, orange behind Chris Archer. 12 out of 25. It's going to be Anthony Banda for Arthur. Look at that. Nice little shimmer in that parallel. little shimmy shake. Nice one for the snakes. Chris Archer, Refractor. All right, two boxes to go. All right, Lee needs a Travis Shaw. That's what he's looking for. Good luck, everybody.
All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's save the autos for a little bit later. There's Tommy Pham. Let's go, Pham, out of 250. Cal Ripken Jr. die cut. Cody Bellinger sitting red. In play outs. Come on, Danny Santana. There's Justin Verlander to 99. And the autographs are coming up. Well, looks like they're going to the top of the 13th in Atlanta. I hope the weather's nice there. I guess at this time of night, that'd be pretty pleasant, right? All right, behind Noah Syndergaard, this could be a nice autograph. Francisco Mejia, 14 out of 99 for the Indians. Eric Bailey with the Tribe. Nice. I feel like this could be a good, a good uh, trade. A trade piece for the Tribe or their future catcher. Future trade piece for me. I've got him in my minor league spot. Need to trade him to make up for my horrible fancy baseball season. Nomar Mazzara reveals a Chris Davis. Chris with a K. Eric Bailey with the Oakland A's. Nice. So a couple, a uh, couple, two for Eric. Eric Bailey personal box. All right. There's Longo. Remember how he got hit in the hand by the Marlins and then benches benches are clearing everyone's hitting each other blah blah, blah. and then Hunter Strickland uh, kind of blows a save or something like that against the Marlins and then he he punched a wall did you guys hear, hear this? You, yeah, I feel like Jay Leno when I do that you guys hear about this? you guys hear about uh, Hunter Strickland? you guys hear about Hunter Strickland? Uh, you hear about that? Hunter Strickland hit, hit a wall and broke his hand. What a dumb! Come on, Hunter. You got you got you got your ace last year riding around in motorcycles, you know. And then uh, you got their closer punching walls. Get that team together, Boach. All right, last two autographs in our last box of finest baseball for the time being. We will try to get some more, but I don't know how much more we're going to get, folks, because I think there's a couple new Tops products that are coming out at the end of the month. So it should be should be a lot of fun. It's the LeBron excuse. I can't believe LeBron did that. I was like, what are you, what are you doing, LeBron? I guess on one hand, it's kind of amazing that he played as well as he did with that, you know, that bone contusion, as they called it. Not actually a broken, but uh, still. It's, it's actually, uh, honestly, all joking aside, I think it's actually pretty irresponsible. <laughs> all right. Alex Wood, out of 250, had a good start against the Mets today. The Mets hate left-handed pitching. Right, Mets fans? Look at their numbers. They have the lowest WOBA and the lowest WRC plus against lefties. There's Chris Sale out of 50 for the Red Sox. There's Otani. It's a mental lapse. I know Dodgers had a weird stint too. I think last season or two years ago. Oh, no, you're talking about punching things. Okay. I don't know. Dodgers, like last year or maybe the year before, was just, they were awful against lefties. Something, I don't know what it was. Gen and, and the players that we had are generally, like, good against lefties. Anyway, the splits were really weird. All right, Josh Donaldson. Behind Josh Donaldson is, can anyone tell by the first, by the first letter right there? Any guesses? 
You'll be able to tell by that hat. I can't tell who this is. Oh, Tyler Maley. Tyler Maley for the Reds is your Reds autograph. All that for all that slow play for Tyler Maley. Who's doing okay this season? Ellie with the Cincinnati Reds. All right, get your guessing hats on, folks. Got one more. Oh, could be a nice one. Got some shimmer back there. There's Tyler Maley's teammate, Joey Votto. Uh, oh, a pitcher. Yeah, sorry, Rory. That's not, I don't think that's going to be Ozzy Albius. Well, that might give away the name. 30 out of 99. Lucas Sims? Does that look like Lucas Sims' arm? Does it look like a... Braves blue there? I think it is. No. Yes, it is Lucas Sims. 30 out of 99, Lucas Sims. Should have went with my my gut instinct. Rory with the Braves. He gets the last auto in the last box of the last break of finest baseball for the time being. From jazbeeshobbyland.com, that was break number 14. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.